Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hope you all are doing great. Today we will learn about the discovery of DNA as a genetic material. Scientist Frederick Griffith was the first to set up experiments on this. And further, based on Griffith's result, three scientists named Oswald Avery, Colin MacLeod and Macklin McCarty discovered the DNA as genetic material. This took them almost 20 years of hard work. In his experiment, Griffith first took a virulent strain of pneumococcus bacteria called 3S and then hit killed it. Next time he took another strain of pneumococcus but this time it was a non-virulent one known as 2R. Both the hit killed 3S and the live 2R were then injected separately in two groups of mice. The mice did not get killed in either of these two cases. And now they mixed the hit killed 3S and the live 2R and then injected them into the mice. This time the mice got killed. Griffith came to know that some components of the heat killed 3S was responsible for transformation of 2R into a virulent one. However, he didn't know which component it was. So he named this responsible component as transforming principle. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon right next to the subscribe button so that you get notified whenever we upload such videos. After the publishing of Griffith's result, Avery MacLeod and McCarty started to find out this transforming principle. They first took heat killed 3S and then lysed it with the help of detergent. Then they centrifuged it to separate the cellular components. After the centrifugation, they got two parts, extract and cellular debris. They took the extract out and mixed it with live 2R bacteria and put it in a culture plate. After the incubation, colonies of 3S bacteria appeared on the plate, indicating successful transformation. They analyzed the components of 2S extract and found four components in it. And those are polysaccharides, proteins, RNA and DNA. So, it was evident that any one of these four components was responsible for transformation. Then they added some enzyme to remove the polysaccharides. They again mixed it with the live 2R bacteria and cultured it in a plate. Transformation occurs indicating polysaccharides could not be the transforming agent. Next, they removed the proteins from the extract by using protease. Again, they performed the same experiments and got the same results. Therefore, the proteins also could not be the transforming agent. Then, they used RNAs to remove RNA. After repeating the same experiment, they got colonies of 3S again. Finally, they added DNAs to the extract to remove the DNA. 
Then they mixed it with the live 2R bacteria and put them on a culture plate. And this time, no colonies appeared. This result confirms that DNA must be the transformation principle.